Chapter 676, Kill A grey demon eye appeared between Lin Dong's eyebrows as a shocking evil aura unfurled from it. Swoosh! Without skipping a beat, a grey light beam filled with an extremely frightening destructive force suddenly exploded from the demon eye. The light beam distorted space itself as it shot out, causing the fearsome-looking fire crystal ape king's expression to change drastically as a rich sense of danger seeped out from his heart. Roar! A violent roar was suddenly released from the fire crystal ape king's mouth. Resplendent red light poured out from his body, swiftly gathering together to form fiery red crystals which completely wrapped around him. When sunlight shone on these fiery red crystals, they looked as solid as diamonds and gave off a powerful and frightening defensive power. However, that grey light beam did not slow down at all. Instead, it directly penetrated through the empty space. In the next moment, it collided heavily on that fire red crystal body. Sizzle. A slight hissing sound was continuously emitted the moment the collision occurred. After which, the pair of scarlet eyes under the crystal body suddenly shrunk, before shock gushed into its eyes. That was because it realized that on every spot on its crystal body touched by the grey light beam, numerous crack lines had swiftly formed. Crack crack. The rate at which the crack lines spread was extremely swift. In an instant, it had already spread over its entire crystal body. Break. The great chi within Lin Dong's eyes surged before an icy bone-chilling word was softly emitted from his mouth. Boom. After he spoke, that fire-red crystal body was completely blasted apart. Crystal fragments permeated the air. That grey light beam flashed past in a straight line. Finally, it penetrated the head of the fire crystal ape king in a lightning-like manner to its bewilderment. The grey light directly penetrated the head of the fire crystal ape king. A trace of blood was left behind. Finally, the light shot into the distance and disappeared. A bloody hole appeared on the forehead of the fire crystal ape king. However, that fire crystal ape king did not die immediately after suffering such a severe wound. Instead, its expression suddenly became extremely hideous and ferocious. Its body staggered back by over a dozen oversteps while the aura around its body quickly weakened. It is actually still alive. Ying Huan Huan and the others were shocked when they saw that the fire crystal ape king was still alive. This demonic beast was truly hardy. Bang! Lin Dong's expression was calm as he observed the fire crystal ape king, whose face was covered with blood. He clenched his fist before his black metal seal whizzed over. It soared with the wind, appearing like a metal mountain as it carried a frightening strength and violently smashed onto the fire crystal ape king's body. Bang! A loud sound appeared in the sky. The fire crystal ape king's enormous body was immediately smashed by the large metal seal until it collapsed. Finally, it slammed heavily onto the ground. That great force shook the entire land. The land collapsed. That black metal seal was just like a mountain and it squashed the fire crystal ape king. Numerous large crack lines ended up being created on the surrounding land. In the sky, Lin Dong looked at the fire crystal ape king, which was squashed by his black metal seal. A cold tinge flashed across his eyes before both of his hands directly moved with a lightning-like speed. Finally, they transformed into two icy cold and ferocious green dragon arms. Swoosh! Lin Dong's body emitted a swoosh sound before he appeared on the black seal. After clenching both of his fists, he violently slammed his fists on the black metal seal. Clang clang clang! A clear metallic sound containing an incomparably wild and violent strength sounded out from the metal seal. Standing beside him, Ying Huan Huan was a little stunned when she saw that the black mountain-like seal was actually directly smashed into the ground by Lin Dong. What a violent fellow! Zhang Kun swallowed a mouthful of saliva while his entire body turned cold. Lin Dong did not attack previously, but who would have thought that he had merely chosen not to? When he attacked, however, he was actually this vicious. After his attack, it was likely that the fire crystal ape king would definitely die regardless of how great its life force was. 
Lin Dong gradually ceased swinging his large hands while Ying Huan Huan and the rest stared at him as if he was a monster. His body shook and the green dragon arm swiftly disappeared. After which, he looked at everyone and rubbed his numb fists as though nothing had happened before he said, If you want to finish off a demonic beast, you should prevent it from having the opportunity to go all out. Otherwise, we will not be able to stop it if it wants to flee. There was still fresh blood continuously seeping out from under the metal seal at this moment. Lin Dong stood on top of the metal seal. His youthful face, which was of the same age as the rest, caused Zhang Kun and the rest to feel a chill within their hearts. They understood that if it were them, they would definitely not have such resolution. That fellow should be dead right. Yuan Ling laughed dryly and asked. Lin Dong smiled. He waved his hand and the black metal seal flew away. Finally, it transformed into a black light and rushed into Lin Dong's palm. Following the disappearance of the metal seal, a rich bloody scent immediately spread over the place. Ying Huan Huan sniffed this smell and her small face became a little pale. She clearly did not have the courage to walk over and take a look at the bloody mess below. She immediately waved her hand before the soil on the ground moved and filled up the enormous pit. After burying that bloodied body, Ying Huan Huan finally hugged her emerald zither and drifted down from a tall tree. She flipped her palm and kept her zither. Desolate demon eye is very powerful indeed. You must be quite abnormal to be able to successfully learn it. Ying Huan Huan glanced at Lin Dong. If it was not because Lin Dong had used the desolate demon eye and seriously wounded the fire crystal ape king, his subsequent vicious attacks would definitely not be of no use. Zhang Kun and Yuan Ling by the side also glance at Lin Dong with some fear in their eyes. In fact, their eyes no longer possessed even a trace of pride from before. Upon witnessing Lin Dong's true strength and his vicious methods, they no longer dared to treat him like a newbie. Lin Dong smiled. Desolate demon eye would greatly erode one's eyes each time it was used. By paying such a price, how could the strength obtained be weak? Of course, this erosion clearly did not pose any threat to Lin Dong, who had the mysterious stone talisman guarding his body. Swoosh swoosh. While Lin Dong and the others were chatting, a hurried rushing wind sound was being transmitted from the forest. Promptly, they saw Yuan Fang lead over a dozen disciples and swiftly rush over. Her tensed expression relaxed a little after seeing that Lin Dong's group was well. Where is the fire crystal ape king? Yuan Fang landed on the ground, swept her eyes around and asked in a stunned manner. Zhang Kun stomped his foot on the ground. Yuan Fang's eyes looked over before seeing the land that had been dyed red by fresh blood and the large pit on the ground. Immediately, her expression changed slightly as she exclaimed, Have you finished it off? Hee <laughs> hee, it is all thanks to junior brother Lin Dong's desolate demon eye. Yuan Ling laughed. Desolate demon eye. Yuan Fang and some of the disciples beside her had a change in their expressions upon hearing these words. Being disciples of Dao sect, they naturally heard of this mysterious martial arts within Desolate Hall. However, they had not expected that Lin Dong was actually able to successfully master it. If it was not because Senior Zhang Kun and the rest wore down the Fire Crystal Ape King, I would not have the opportunity to attack. Lin Dong smiled and shook his head. He had no intention of taking all the credit. Elder Sister Fang, what about the other demonic apes? Ying Huan Huan looked towards Yuan Fang and inquired. They have all been finished off. Yuan Fang nodded slightly. After which, her eyes were a little complicated as she looked towards the immortal Yuan ancient tree a short distance away. If this news were to spread, it was likely that the entire blood rock grounds would erupt in an uproar. Compared to the seed of an immortal Yuan ancient tree, this entire mine vein was hardly worth mentioning. Everyone began to turn towards the black ancient tree that had broken free from the ground. Their fiery hot eyes were filled with seriousness. Originally, it was just an ordinary mission. However, it was likely going to become extremely complicated because of this. How can we know whether this seedling will have a seed? Lin Dong glanced towards Ying Huan Huan and asked. We'll have to wait till its fruits fall. 
If it really possesses a seed, the seed will naturally appear. Ying Huan Huan whispered. Based on the energy fluctuations given off by the fruits, they will likely fall in less than five days. Five days hui. Lin Dong curled his mouth and nodded slightly. Do we need to bring all the disciples over? Yuan Fang asked. That will attract far too much attention. Lin Dong shook his head gently. He spoke in a deep voice, we should look relaxed but stay vigilant secretly. Try not to attract attention. All we need to do is to act normally. If the blood rock grounds was as chaotic as Ying Huan Huan had described, a large-scale operation would only end up attracting the attention of others. Should news of the immortal Yuan ancient tree spread, they would likely end up in a truly dire situation. Yuan Fang nodded. Although Lin Dong lacked the authority, his suggestions were calculated and prudent. As such, they had no reason to object to what he said. In that case, we will wait quietly for five days. Ying Huan Huan's eyes turned towards the immortal Yuan ancient tree while she slowly clenched her fists. For some unknown reason, she felt like this mission would become extremely troublesome. Chapter 677, Activity This was a fairly dark room. Within the room, a dim flame was dancing. The light from the flame was suppressed by darkness until it became extremely weak. When one's line of sight expanded, it was possible to see a couple of black figures present within the darkness. They seemed to be seated around a circular table. Large black robes covered their bodies while an insidious aura slowly spread from within their bodies. The atmosphere within the room was quite press sunrising. It was a long while later before that seated black figure suddenly extended his sleeve. A pale hand landed on the table and gently tapped on it. The fire crystal ape king is dead. A hoarse voice was suddenly emitted from under the black robes. Yes, even those demon apes were completely finished off and not a single one of them was spared. It was likely done by those Deosect disciples. Since when did they become so vicious? A black figure within the room moved a little before speaking in a deep voice. Four Deosect disciples just arrived two days ago. It is likely related to them. It is likely that the immortal Yuan ancient tree has also been discovered by them, that black figure was quiet for a moment before speaking in a hoarse voice. Chief, should we attack? Based on the strength of the Deosect disciples at the mineral vein, it will be very easy for us to snatch the immortal Yuan ancient tree. A black figure inquired. If it is an ordinary faction, it is fine to attack them at any time. However, this is the Deosect. If we do not know whether there is a seed within the immortal Yuan ancient tree, there is no need for us to attack. Just a couple of immortal Yuan ancient fruits might be valuable, but it is not worthwhile to anger the Dao sect because of them. The black figure at the leader's seat waved his pale hand and said. We'll wait for a few days. If there is really a seed within the immortal Yuan ancient tree, it will cause quite a commotion. Quietly dispatch some people around the mines and monitor them closely. If there is a seed within the immortal Yuan ancient tree. A person asked softly. If there is a seed. The leading black figure's body leant forward slightly. That black robe was lifted, revealing a pale and shady face. He parted his mouth and smiled before he spoke in a dense manner, then, those fellows can only blame themselves for being unlucky. Kill anyone who dares to obstruct us. If I obtain the seed of the immortal Yuan ancient tree and hand it to Yuan Gate, all my previous sins will be forgiven. At that time, so what if the Dao sect becomes furious? Don't tell me that they will dare to charge up to Yuan Gate. The couple of black figures trembled as they looked at the bloodthirstiness that climbed onto his face. Immediately, they parted their mouths and laughed in a savage manner. The tree branches spread apart in the midair and blocked the light that scattered downwards, forming traces of light spots that shone on a couple of human figures seated below. A ray of light shone on Lin Dong's face before his gently shut eyes slowly opened up. After which, he looked at the black tree in front of him. At this moment, the five bright red fruits hanging on the tree were becoming increasingly vibrant and they looked just like ripe fruits. Should be soon. Lin Dong softly muttered. 
a trace of mental energy surged out from his Nguyen palace. After which, it feedbacked any activity within this forest. With his mental energy, he could sense ten powerful auras that were lurking within the forest. They were all Deo sect disciples. Furthermore, there was also quite a number of Deo sect disciples tightly patrolling the area further away. Sha. Lin Dong's mental energy was swiftly withdrawn. A small pair of boots suddenly appeared on the ground in front of him. He was startled for a moment before raising his head. After which, he saw Ying Huan Huan with her hands behind her. She was staring downwards at him from an angle above. Her bright and beautiful eyes were filled with liveliness. Zhang Kun and Yuan Ling were chatting softly a short distance away. However, their eyes would occasionally drift towards Lin Dong. Of course, most of the time, their eyes lingered on the young lady wearing a white blouse and green pants. One could easily tell that the both of them fancied her. Your mental energy is quite good. The young lady stared at Lin Dong under the observation of those two. Immediately she smiled. She had actually detected Lin Dong's mental energy probing around the place. Lin Dong smiled in a noncommittal manner while his heart felt a little surprised by Ying Huan Huan's sharp senses. His mental energy was usually quite well hidden. Unless it was someone who was well versed with mental energy cultivation, else, it would be extremely difficult to sense his mental energy probing. Although I mainly focus on my Yuan power cultivation, my mental energy is also quite decent. Although it is not as strong as yours, I have survived one wind lightning trial. Ying Huan Huan appeared to be aware of Lin Dong's doubts as she laughed immediately. Lin Dong brows involuntarily twitched at this moment. Clearly, he did not expect that this young lady in front of him was actually training in both Yuan power and mental energy at the same time. He immediately came to a sudden realization within his heart, no wonder her zither sound is so mysterious. It seems like it is partly because of mental energy. It is always good to be cautious. Lin Dong softly said. He also understood that Ying Huan Huan was aware of what he was using his mental energy for. Originally, I thought that this is going to be an ordinary mission. I never expected it to become so troublesome. Ying Huan Huan sat down beside Lin Dong. Her eyes stared at the black ancient tree before she immediately laughed, however, I am glad things turned out this way. If we are really able to obtain the immortal ancient tree seed, it will be extremely beneficial for our Deo sect. There will be countless disciples who will benefit from it in the future and our Deo sect will also become stronger. Lin Dong was startled for a moment when he heard these words. There was not the slightest greed on the face of this young lady when she spoke. Despite the immense allure of the immortal Yuan ancient tree, the first thing that she thought of was actually their sect. Lin Dong curled his lips slightly and his eyes were somewhat complicated. He had clearly been through a lot more compared to Ying Huan Huan. His experiences during these years caused him to be extremely cautious. Although he currently had an extremely good impression of Deo sect, his first thought when he realized the value of the immortal Yuan ancient tree was honestly not how he could help the Deo sect to obtain it. He might not be much older than Ying Huan Huan, but he was definitely nowhere as innocent as she was. Of course, if Lin Dong still had that mentality after all that he had been through over the years, perhaps, he would not have the chance to reach this stage. Lin Dong's mouth was involuntarily lifted into an arc as he looked at the heartfelt joy on the young lady's face. A sect that was able to command the hearts of its members were the truly powerful ones. The competition between the super sects in eastern Xian region is extremely intense. If the strength of our sect can be increased, our seniors would also gain additional protection when they are outside. Ying Huan Huan fondled her snow white smooth chin with her hand. Her dark black ponytail fell onto her shoulders. Immediately, she seemed to have thought of something and suddenly rolled her eyes at Lin Dong, You are very talented. If you had joined Sky Hall, your future accomplishments will definitely be spectacular. Thankfully, you did quite well in Desolate Hall. Otherwise, I will really be too lazy to bother with someone like you, who makes decisions randomly based on your own preferences. Lin Dong smiled. However, 
he did not provide too much explanation on this matter. Finally, he understood that Ying Huan Huan did not purposefully find fault with him during the hall selection stage. Instead, she became furious over what she deemed to be his seemingly irresponsible decision. Currently, it was difficult for him to place the sect as the most important thing in his heart like Ying Huan Huan. However, he understood her perspective as well. Be rest assured. If this immortal Yuan ancient tree really has a seed, we will definitely bring it back. Lin Dong softly said. Ying Huan Huan smiled sweetly. Her smile was extremely alluring as she curled her red lips and nodded heavily. Hey, what are the two of you talking about? Zhang Kun and Yuan Ling finally could not help themselves and decided to head over. Though they sounded nonchalant, there was a tinge of jealousy within their voices. This involuntarily caused Lin Dong to gently chuckle. He was just about to speak when his expression suddenly changed. He abruptly lifted his head before he stared at the immortal Yuan ancient tree. The five fruits hanging on it had begun to tremble slightly. The fruits are about to ripen. Immediately, Ying Huan Huan and the others also realized it. A tense yet joyous expression surged on their faces. Lin Dong's eyes focused on the immortal Yuan ancient tree. A shocking energy ripple was being continuously scattered from it. Even the land itself was trembling slightly. Buzz buzz. The five bright red fruits also began to tremble more intensely. In the next instant, they suddenly trembled violently before they actually fell from the tree. Lin Dong waved his hand. A suction force erupted and sucked the five immortal Yuan ancient fruits into his hand. However, he did not have the time to digest them at the moment. Everyone was completely focused on the immortal Yuan ancient tree. After the fruits fell, the energy ripple that was being emitted from the tree did not show any signs of weakening. Rich green light spread from its roots. At the same time, a rich life force appeared to be emitted from within it. A joy immediately surged within the eyes of Ying Huan Huan's group when they saw this scene. Buzz. The immortal Yuan ancient tree trembled. Suddenly, a green light appeared on the tree branch. The shocking life force was emitted from within this green light. Immortal Yuan ancient seed. A wild joyous sound was directly being emitted from Zhang Kun's mouth. Lin Dong's eyes were focused intently on the unusual green light. His eyes suddenly shrunk. The immortal Yuan ancient tree suddenly trembled intensely when his eyes shrunk. A thick green light suddenly spluttered from the top of the tree. Finally, it broke through the forest and shot directly towards the clouds. Lin Dong's expression instantly turned gloomy when he saw this scene. Chapter 678, Bad News The green light pillar broke through the forest and entered the clouds. Like an enormous green light barrier, it descended from the sky. The commotion that it caused could clearly be seen everywhere within a 50-kilometer radius. Lin Dong's expression turned grim when he saw this scene as he deeply breathed in. Looks like it was going to be impossible to quietly bring the immortal Yuan ancient seed back to the Dao sect. By his side, the joy on the faces of Ying Huan Huan and the others also swiftly disappeared at this moment, while panic flashed across their eyes. Swoosh! In the forest, Yuan Fang was also alarmed by this commotion. Brining a dozen disciples with her, she rushed over, only to end up sighing when she saw the expression on everyone's faces. Has this news been transmitted back? Lin Dong swiftly collected himself and asked in a solemn voice. It should have reached them. However, regardless of how fast they are, it is likely that reinforcements can only arrive by tomorrow. Yuan Fang laughed bitterly, pausing for a moment before continuing. Additionally, there is an extremely bad piece of news, earlier, we discovered the traces of some people around the mines. If I am not wrong, they are likely from the Devil Seal Massachusetts. Devil Seal Mass. The expressions of Ying Huan Huan and the others changed when they heard these words. Who are they? Lin Dong frowned and asked. A faction that is quite infamous within the Blood Rock grounds. Their leader is called Yao Ling and is ranked fourth on the sex wanted list. He has likely reached the formidable Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. 
Ying Huan Huan gritted her silver teeth and replied. Nine Yuan Nirvana stage, Lin Dong's expression changed slightly at this moment. This place was indeed worthy of being the eastern Xian region. Just any random criminal they encountered actually possessed such power. Yao Ling was once a deacon of the Yuan Gate. However, he was expelled after committing a major crime. However, he possessed quite an extraordinary background. As such, the enforcement unit of Yuan Gate was lax in chasing after him. All these years, he has been living in blood rock grounds and he is quite infamous. Yuan Fang added. It is unexpected that we have been targeted by them, Zhang Kun spoke with quiet anger. There are three cities within a 50-kilometer radius of our mines. These cities are extremely chaotic and are filled with all sorts of people. With such a huge commotion, it will definitely end up attracting the attention of many. Should news of the immortal Yuan ancient seeds spread, then, Yuan Fang's face turned unusually grave as she spoke. Harvest the seed. Lin Dong knitted his brows tightly and spoke in a deep voice. Yes. Ying Huan Huan nodded. She did not dare to hesitate as she swiftly stepped forward. Her hand directly penetrated into the light pillar and grabbed the brightest glowing spot within it. After Ying Huan Huan grabbed the glowing spot and withdrew her hand, the enormous light pillar finally gradually disappeared, while Lin Dong also looked over. At this moment, there was a round dark green seed lying quietly in Ying Huan Huan's palm. The surface of the seed appeared to have some naturally formed symbols on it. A shocking life force was continuously being emitted from within. Is this the seed of the immortal Yuan ancient tree? Lin Dong glanced at the black tree. After the seed was extracted, the dark green luster that had originally covered its branches also disappeared. Meanwhile, its life force had also significantly diminished. Its black trunk appeared to be made of metal and its branches were just like icy cold metal branches. An old, hearty, and icy cold feeling spread from it. Lin Dong stared at it. His eyes moved slightly as he extended his hand and felt it. When his hand touched the black icy cold tree branch, he suddenly felt the Yuan power circulating within his body turn sluggish. It was as if it had been suppressed by something. His heart immediately became slightly startled. The immortal Yuan ancient tree trunk possessed the mysterious effect of suppressing various types of energy. Only by touching its roots, can one avoid this suppressing effect. However, it is too heavy. Even experts who specialize in physical strength are unable to swing it around as they please. Ying Huan Huan appeared to be aware of what Lin Dong was thinking and explained. Oh. Lin Dong's brows twitched upon hearing this. He took a step forward as his foot stomped violently on the ground. The ground in front of him was directly cracked apart, revealing the black roots that were entangled below the immortal Yuan ancient tree. Lin Dong bent his body and extended his hands, grabbing the thickest black root. A bone-chilling icy cold feeling seeped out. It is heavy indeed. Lin Dong tugged the tree roots. However, he was surprised to discover that this immortal Yuan ancient tree did not budge an inch despite his formidable strength. However, the more difficult it was, the stronger Lin Dong's interest grew. Promptly, he clenched both his hands tightly as the veins on his arms started to wiggle. One could vaguely catch sight of some green dragon scales appearing on his arms as a majestic strength quietly erupted. Bang! After Lin Dong unleashed his dragon-like strength, that large immortal Yuan ancient tree, which was dozens of feet in height, was actually directly uprooted by Lin Dong before the stunned gazes of Ying Huan Huan's group. Wu! Lin Dong grabbed the root of the large tree and swung it down violently. The air in front of him immediately exploded. An invisible energy erupted from it, directly causing a wide large crack to be ripped open on the ground in front of him. Such a good item. Lin Dong involuntarily parted his mouth and smiled when he saw how powerful this object was. With a wave of his hand, he stored the immortal Yuan ancient tree in his Qunkin bag in an unceremonious manner. After which, he raised his head, only to find Ying Huan Huan staring at him with a strange expression. Even though his skin was thick, Lin Dong's face could not help but reddened a little when he saw this. 
He coughed dryly and was just about to speak when his expression suddenly changed. Immediately, he raised his head and slowly said, Trouble is coming. Lin Dong's body moved after he spoke. He rushed upwards, breaking through the forest canopy as he appeared in the sky above the forest. He gaze swept around and finally paused on a spot in the distance. Dozens of black figures were quietly hovering there. Numerous shady and cold gazes were locked onto Lin Dong's group from under those black robes. Swoosh swoosh. A fluctuation appeared in the forest below. Ying Huan Huan, Zhang Kun, and the rest swiftly rushed out before stopping beside Lin Dong. Their eyes also looked towards the front. Devil Seal Mass, it is indeed those bastards. When Yuan Fang saw the dozens of black figures, her eyes darkened as she cursed. There are still quite a number of people heading towards to our location, they are likely the experts and factions nearby that have been alerted, Lin Dong's mental energy spread outwards. Immediately, he exhaled a deep breath of air. He could sense some slight rushing wind sounds from the distant sky as some faint auras began to appear one after another. There were some Deo sect disciples occasionally rushing over in the forest below. Their numbers were not few and totaled to a hundred people. However, Lin Dong knew that if news of this immortal Yuan ancient seed was to spread, just these numbers alone would not be enough to deter everyone. Haha, <laughs> Yuan Fang, there are some things that cannot be hidden. Obediently surrender the immortal Yuan ancient seed. Otherwise, blood will flow like a river today. A person in front pulled apart his black robes, revealing a dark and cold middle-aged face. He was smiling strangely as he stared at Yuan Fang and spoke. Soleil, you actually dare to target something that belongs to our Dao sect. Yuan Fang's eyes were icy cold as she cried out. Ha, as long as we obtain the immortal Yuan ancient seed, our chief can naturally use it to exchange for a great reward from the Yuan gate. What can your Dao sect do then? The middle-aged person called Soleil laughed sinisterly. That fellow is the second in command of the Devil Seal Mass, Soleil. People call him Lightning Blade. He is at the 8 Yuan Nirvana stage. Ying Huan Huan whispered beside Lin Dong. There are six core members in the Devil Seal Mass. They are all people on the sex wanted list. Other than Soleil, the remaining four all have the strength of the 7 Yuan Nirvana stage. Their chief, he hasn't revealed himself. Lin Dong's eyes swept across the group of black figures before remarking. Yeah. That fellow is extremely cunning. However, with the Devil Seal Mass launching such a huge operation, he is definitely hiding somewhere nearby. Ying Huan Huan said. Lin Dong nodded quietly. He immediately raised his head before his eyes looked towards the distant sky. Numerous black spots were flying over at a rapid pace. Moments later, they finally turned into numerous figures that appeared in the sky. Suspicious eyes looked towards Lin Dong's group. When he saw an increasing number of experts rushing over, Lin Dong's heart sank even further. The situation was only deteriorating. Chapter 679, A Troublesome Situation Swoosh swoosh. The sound of wind splitting continuously resounded over the skies above the mines. Lin Dong's group watched as numerous figures with powerful auras walked through the skies towards them, before finally coming to a stop and hovering in the skies above the mines. Lin Dong's watched the figures that had rushed over from the skies as his expression gradually turned solemn. He could sense a rather formidable and oppressive pressure from their bodies. Evidently, none of them were ordinary individuals. We are in trouble. Yuan Fang's face also gradually turned ugly because of these newcomers. Soon after, she clenched her teeth and softly whispered. Do you know these people? Lin Dong softly inquired. Yuan Fang laughed bitterly and said, Look at the northern area, the one in green is called Xiao Tian. People call him the eroding demon hand. He is fifth on the sex wanted list and an eight Yuan Nirvana stage expert. Lin Dong's looked over and sure enough, he caught sight of a person clad in green. He appeared to be around 30 years old, was rather tall and had quite a handsome face. However, an evil aura lingered around him. At this moment, 
both his hands were placed behind his back, his gaze containing some suspicion as they locked onto Lin Dong's group. That fellow to the south is known as Luo Yi. People call him the Butcher. He is ranked sixth on the sex wanted list and is also at the 8 Yuan Nirvana stage. Lin Dong's gaze shifted and was slightly taken aback. He saw a white clothed man that looked extremely scholarly. His face was pale and the so called butcher nickname did not suit him at all. However, Lin Dong would naturally not judge a book by its cover. Although the white clothed man wore a smile on his face, Lin Dong could sense a faint bloody scent from the his body. One could tell that this fellow was quite a vicious character. There are still a few who are quite infamous around the Blood Rock grounds, Yuan Fang bitterly said. It seemed like it would not be an easy matter to successfully escape today. Lin Dong sighed quietly within his heart. However, he did not panic. He had experienced far too much over the years. What kind of dangers had he not faced before? Although they were in a rather grave situation now, it was not so easy to force Lin Dong into a dead end. While these thoughts swirled in Lin Dong's mind, he suddenly felt something cold on his palm. A round ice-cold object had been pushed into his palm, causing him to be startled. He was just about to speak when a pretty young lady's face appeared in front of him. Lin Dong, you must bring the seed back no matter what. Ying Huan Huan gently bit down with her silver teeth. There was a resolve on her face that did not match her age. Clearly, she could also tell that the current situation was quite dire. Lin Dong knitted his brow slightly but did say anything. He merely flipped his hand and stored the seed into his Qunkin bag, before he softly said, Don't worry. Things have not reached that stage yet. Even if the situation reaches that point, there is no need for a girl like you to bear that burden. Hee <laughs> hee. Can anyone tell me what just happened? What was the green light from before? Just as Lin Dong's voice faded, the white-clothed person in the distance, whom others called the butcher, Luo Yi, grinned and asked Yuan Fang's group. Yuan Fang's expression changed slightly but she did not reply. Clearly, she did not wish to leak news of the immortal Yuan ancient seed. Ha <laughs> ha, I've heard it's an immortal ancient Yuan seed, however. Soleil from the Devil Seal Mass laughed in a strange manner while Yuan Fang remained quiet. He was not worried that the seed would be snatched by others should news of it be leaked. Clearly, he had great confidence in the power of their group. You. Yuan Fang expression changed drastically as fury surged within her eyes. Oh. An uproar broke out in the sky when his words sounded out, while greed surged in the eyes of many. A person licked his lips and laughed, it is unexpected that there would actually be such a treasure here. Luo Yi was similarly startled due to the so-called immortal Yuan ancient seed. Immediately, an intrigued expression surfaced on his face. He stared at Yuan Fang and said, I have never seen an immortal Yuan ancient seed before. Could Miss Yuan Fang kindly take it out and allow me to broaden my horizons? Yuan Fang's expression turned cold. She was just about to speak when Lin Dong stepped out from beside her. He stared at Luo Yi but he did not say anything unnecessary. Mental energy spread out at lightning speed, quickly scanning everyone's faces. Brat, what are you doing? Luo Yi was startled by Lin Dong's action. Immediately, his eyes turned cold as he cried out. Lin Dong ignored him. He waved his sleeve and his mental energy transformed into numerous light curtains in front of him. On the light curtains were faces drawn with mental energy. They belonged to Luo Yi's and the rest. Swoosh swoosh. Lin Dong's sleeves trembled. Numerous jade stones flew out. Promptly, he imprinted his mental energy with everyone's faces into those jade stones. With a wave of his hand, the hundred over jade stones flew into the hands of the Deo Sex disciples below. Everyone, regardless of what happens today, as long as one person returns to Deo Sect and hands the jade stone to the elders, I think that they will know what to do. Lin Dong's low and deep voice spread out in the sky and was transmitted into everyone's ears. The expressions of the mob in the sky changed a little when they heard his words. Their eyes flickered and rapidly alternated between viciousness and hesitation. 
Lin Dong's tactic was truly vicious. He had directly imprinted the faces of everyone present and used the Dao Sex name as a deterrence. Although the people here were not ordinary individuals, the Dao Sect was one of the eight great super sects and one of the overlords of the eastern Xian region. If the fury of the Dao Sect really poured down on them, it was likely that none of them had the ability to resist. What a ruthless fellow! However, aren't you afraid that we will be equally ruthless and butcher all of you? The corner of Luo Yi's eyes twitched a little. He stared directly at Lin Dong before he chuckled coldly. Come and try if you have the ability to do so. Lin Dong took a step forward, his expression immediately turning savage. A shockingly vicious aura spread out from within his body, causing quite a number of these ruthless characters, who had even taken lives before, to feel fearful. Why did this Dao sect disciple seem even more vicious than them? Beside him, Yuan Feng, Ying Huan Huan and the rest glanced at each other. They could clearly see the hesitation on their faces. All of them secretly sighed. It seems like in order to deal with these vicious characters, they had to be even more ruthless than them. Ha, times are really changing. A mere five Yuan Nirvana stage brat actually dares to act so arrogantly in front of me? Could it be that the disciples taught by the Dao sect these days all don't know their limits? A cruel expression flashed across Luo Yi's pale white face at this moment. His tone had also become sinister. A short distance away, Sole and the others observed this scene with a cold smile. However, they did not attack immediately. Everyone, all of you here are fairly famous individuals. Don't tell me that you are actually intimidated by this brat. Luo Yi turned his head. He looked to the many figures hovering in the sky as he sneered. Some people frowned when they heard his words. While varying thoughts ran through their minds, Xiao Tian, that green-clothed man nicknamed Eroding Demon Hand slowly stepped forward. The fifth on the sex wanted list had quite a solid reputation in this place. Hence, quite a number of people turned to look when he walked forward, and even Luo Yi's eyes become a little more serious. Yuan Feng and the rest looked at Xiao Tian with some anxiety. If the latter was to attack them at this moment, the situation would be completely disadvantageous to them. You are Ying Huan Huan right? However, under the crowd's attention, Xiao Tian's gaze paused on Ying Huan Huan before he slowly opened his mouth and asked. Ying Huan Huan gently knitted her brows. There was some doubt in her eyes. Clearly, she did not recognize him. Although I should interfere in today's matter given my character, I still owe your sister Ying Xiao Xiao a favor from back then, Xiao Tian spoke faintly. Yuan Fang's group sighed in relief when they heard his words. However, Luo Yi's and Soleil's expressions darkened. The immortal Yuan ancient seed might be rare, but the Dao sect is no pushover either. I am unable to handle the weight of such an object. If you guys are interested, go ahead and snatch it. Xiao Tian's indifferent gaze swept over everyone before he suddenly withdrew. His manner clearly indicated that he had no intention to interfere. Haha, <laughs> it is unexpected that even you, Xiao Tian, would be afraid of the super sex, Luo Yi coldly mocked. Xiao Tian glanced at him. An icy glint flashed within his eyes but he did not respond. All right, since you lack the courage, I shall do it. I want to see just what gives this arrogant brat the qualifications to utter such words in front of me. Luo Yi strided forward. His finger pointed towards Lin Dong. Immediately, he curled it as a derisive smile appeared on his face. Brat, if you are able to handle ten attacks from me, I will no longer interfere in this matter. What do you say? Lin Dong stared at Luo Yi. Immediately. A sinisterly cold arc slowly formed on his face. Chapter 680, Fighting the Butcher In the sky, countless pairs of eyes congealed on Lin Dong's body, while a shady expression appeared on Luo Yi's face. Obviously, the latter had developed a rich killing intent towards him after his previous action. From his point of view, since he was at 8 Yuan Nirvana stage, killing Lin Dong was going to be as simple as flipping his palm. If you want to steal, use your own hands. 
Don't waste your time doing these stupid things and stop being so wishy-washy. However, while the crowd stared at him, the chilliness on Lin Dong's face grew increasingly richer. He proceeded to stare at Luo Yi and chuckled. Whoa! The moment Lin Dong's words sounded out, an uproar immediately erupted in the entire sky. Quite a few people stared at Lin Dong with a strange expression on their faces. They truly could not imagine how a brat merely at 5 Yuan Nirvana stage, would actually dare to utter such words to Luo Yi, who was at 8 Yuan Nirvana stage. Did he really think that the latter would be intimidated just because he was a disciple of Dao sect? Ha, the disciples of Dao sect are truly getting more and more egotistical. Does that brat know who Luo Yi is? Does he really believe that his reputation of butcher is unwarranted? Since he provoked Luo Yi, this matter would not be settled so easily. Truly an arrogant and foolish brat. One whisper after another containing ridicule and sneer started to spread across the sky while quite a few people started to point at Lin Dong. Their expressions looked as if they enjoyed taking joy in other people's misfortune. Behind Lin Dong, Ying Huan Huan and the rest looked at each other in dismay after hearing Lin Dong's words. However, they knew a little about Lin Dong's character and understood that the latter was not a hot-headed individual. Since he dared to utter those words, it was likely that he had confidence in himself. However, that fellow is a vicious individual that is ranked sixth on the sex wanted list. Haha. <laughs> Amidst the uproar that filled the skies, the shady grin already present on Luo Yi's face became even more quiet, gloomy, and cold. His eyes stared maliciously at Lin Dong. However, he did not fly into a rage as he chuckled instead. Nonetheless, his laughter truly caused one's hair to stand. Nowadays, it seems like the number of stupid blockheads who do not fear death have increased, Luo Yi smirked as he shot a smile at Lin Dong from the corner of his mouth and revealed a set of sparkling white teeth. However, from within his pupils, shot forth an exceptionally ruthless luster instead. This friend, if you are still able to say those words later, I will truly admire your courage. A faint voice filled with gentle laughter rang out from Luo Yi's mouth. A gloomy and cold murderous aura that made one's skin crawl started to quietly pervade and spread in the air. Swoosh! However, the moment Luo Yi spoke, a malevolent expression suddenly appeared on his face. Taking a step forward, his figure suddenly disappeared. Lin Dong, be careful! The moment Luo Yi's figure disappeared, Ying Huan Huan, Zhang Kun and the rest realized it as well. There was a faint change in their facial expressions as they quickly warned him. Hovering in mid-air, Lin Dong had already spread out his mental energy. Immediately, his pupils hardened, before he took a half a left step. Chi. A palm filled with scarlet blood Chi carrying the sharpest palm blade flashed past Lin Dong's shoulder with a lightning-like speed. As the palm wind flashed past, it sliced off a strand of Lin Dong's hair. Snort. After his attack failed, Luo Yi's body appeared in a flash. With a cold laugh, his arm turned into weapon, while his palm turned into a blade. Facing Lin Dong, he sent a slash towards his throat. Ping. While Luo Yi slashed towards Lin Dong's throat, Lin Dong's palm also exploded forth. Green colored scales rapidly covered his palm before he viciously grabbed Luo Yi's palm. Squeak! Squeak! A sharp and powerful force crazily rushed towards Lin Dong's palm in an attempt to corrode it. However, when it came into contact with that layer of green-colored scales, it exploded instead and created dazzling sparks. Lin Dong's face had also turned icy cold. Promptly, with the thought, Vigorous amounts of desolate energy directly flowed through his arm and erupted out of his palm. Following which, they flew rapidly towards Luo Yi's palm and started to corrode it. Chi. Under the corrosion from the desolate energy, Luo Yi's bloody palm actually showed some signs of withering. Desolate force? Snort, with such little ability, you actually dare to counterattack. Luo Yi's vision congealed for a while before he gave a cold laugh. With a thought, boundless amount of violent Yuan power howled and erupted from his body. Following that, 
the blood chi on his palm welled up crazily and actually directly scattered the desolate energy. With a grasp of his palm, the blood chi immediately congealed into a serrated great blade. Grasping the blade, he chopped down viciously at Lin Dong's head with a lighting speed. Luo Yi's move was extremely ruthless. Together with his blood chi, it made his attack extremely powerful and imposing. It was obvious that he was experienced in combat. Lin Dong's gaze was frosty and cold. He knew that he was naturally unable to compete with Luo Yi, who was at 8th Yuan Nirvana stage, in terms of Yuan power. Nonetheless, he had no intention of going all out. Flicking his ten fingers, Green light rushed out and transformed into green-colored scales which clashed against that serrated great blade. Ding ding dong dong. Sparks crazily shot out and scattered around. The power of the serrated great blade was extremely forceful and it actually directly split apart Lin Dong's green-colored scales. However, with this slight obstruction, Lin Dong was able to drift away and leave the attack radius of the serrated great blade. A ridiculing voice floated over. How, brat? Where did your arrogance go now? After his attack failed, the coldness and ruthlessness on Luo Yi's face turn even more thick and dense. Lin Dong shot a glance at him as the coldness within his eyes suddenly grew stronger and more rigorous. Currently, although the surrounding people were being very subtle, they were all lusting after the ancient immortal Yuan tree seed. However, the presence of Dao sect made them indecisive. If he was defeated by Luo Yi now, perhaps the hesitation within their hearts might subside. Furthermore, there will also be a few who would let the greed within their hearts overwhelm their rationality. That was the scenario that Lin Dong truly did not want to see. For the past few years, he had experienced quite a few harrowing events. Therefore, he was naturally aware that the opponents in front of him were all ruthless people with blood on their hands. So long as he revealed the slightest fear, they would likely become even more cruel and vicious and they will likely rush forth and devour them till not a single bone is left. Therefore, any sign of weakness must not be revealed. Even if the fellow in front was ranked sixth on the sex wanted list. If you want to steal something from me, you will have to leave something behind. Abruptly halting his retreat, an ominous glint appeared within Lin Dong's eyes. He took a deep breath before his hands rapidly weaved seal after seal with lighting speed. Following the fluctuations of the seals, the grey line on his forehead started to pulsate once again before splitting open. The demonic eye brimming with fiendishness slowly appeared once again. Chi. After his desolate demon eye opened up, a grey light beam shot explosively towards Luo Yi. As the grey light beam shot over, Luo Yi's malevolent face turned sluggish for a while before a rich shock filled his eyes. It was obvious that he felt a grave threat from the light beam. Good brat, he has some metal after all. Luo Yi gave a cold laugh before raising his serrated great blade. At this moment, a low roar was transmitted out of his throat, before boundless Yuan power bubbled up and a blade chopped down with fury. Swoosh! A teen feet blood chi blade glow that reeked of blood erupted from Luo Yi's great blade, before he viciously hacked the incoming grey light beam. At the moment of impact, wild and violent energy waves erupted outwards crazily. This caused astonishment to appear in the eyes of quite a few people. It was obvious that they had never imagined that Lin Dong, who was at 5 Yuan Nirvana stage, could actually unleash such a formidable attack. Did he block it? Lin Dong looked at Luo Yi and narrowed his eyes. This was the first time that his desolate demon eye attack was blocked. Seems like the gap between Luo Yi and him was quite a large one. This brat, such a strange attack. While Lin Dong was still reeling over the shock, a turmoil also appeared within Luo Yi's heart. Although he managed to destroy the strange grey light beam, at the moment, his palms were secretly numb. There is something strange about this brat. I must finish him off quickly. Luo Yi took a look at the demonic eye on Lin Dong's forehead and secretly felt uneasy. Instantly, his vision turned cold before his body suddenly exploded forward. The savage Yuan power of an 8 Yuan Nirvana stage expert fully erupted forth. It was obvious that he wanted to kill Lin Dong as quickly as possible. 
Lin Dong, hurry and dodge it. When Zhang Kun and the rest saw Luo Yi's move, their facial expression changed before they frantically tried to warn Lin Dong. Although Lin Dong's desolate demon eye was indeed very powerful, the gap between him and Luo Yi was too great. If they were to really fight, Lin Dong would most likely suffer. However, when Lin Dong heard their warning, he gently shook his head instead. At this juncture, if he were to show any weakness, perhaps it might overwhelm the rationality of those who were still struggling with the greed in their hearts. I want to see how strong an 8 Yuan Nirvana stage expert is. With a frosty glint in his eyes, Lin Dong's hand seals suddenly changed. Promptly, a strange blood trial actually seeped out from the demonic eye on his forehead while Grey Chi started to bubble out. Faintly, a frightening primordial roar traveled through time and descended on this land. Desolate Demon Eye, Spirit of the Desolate Beast